my name is Ashley Flores and today I'm going to walk you through my skincare and makeup routine. This video has been highly requested. Everybody was writing into Vogue like, where's the Ashley Flores routine? We're dying for it. And like, Vogue's been ringing down my line and I honestly like, I had to block them for a little bit but finally I was like, you know what? I think it's time. So the first thing that I do is I clean my face and I use this knockoff Cetaphil because it was on sale that day and honestly Cetaphil is getting really expensive so I decided to opt for the Life Brand version which is basically the same thing. Of course I have to take my glasses off and I just woke up so I have a lot of crusties under my eye and around my skin so I just take some regular warm water and I just kind of wipe those away before I start washing because I just feel like even when I wash my face, I don't get all the little crusties. So typically I would do this over a sink like a normal person, but because I'm shooting with Vogue today, I will be cleansing my face in front of the mirror. So I had no makeup on because last night I took it off, but this is how I do it. Around the eyes, nose, get all up in there and rinse it off. Cat, don't wipe or else you're gonna get wrinkles. So I hear, you know. Then I just take some Vaseline because I don't want crusty lips. The next thing that I do is I take some toner and I put this on my face. I don't do this every day, I only do this a few times a week, maybe like twice a week, because it's a pretty harsh toner. I just clean up a lot like around the edges and places that I really miss when I'm washing my face the crevices and then I do like a quick swipe everywhere else very gently then I take some Cosrx snail mucin extract which again I don't do daily and I just kind of rub that along my face Typically, I do coconut oil as my moisturizer. People got their opinions about that, but I like it, it works for me. I put a little bit on my hands and I try not to go too crazy with it because then my skin gets really oily before my foundation, so I'm gonna put a little bit on. Like I literally just like kind of dab it in, like I don't even rub it in. I just want my face to not be dry, but I don't want it to be like super moisturized or super moist. Did you guys ever know those people that were like, oh, I can't hear the word moist. It does something to me. Grow up. <laughs> so my eyes aren't the best. So the next thing that I do is I wash my hands so I can put some contacts in because if I'm being real with you, I can't see a thing right now. Like, ow. This is my little contact case. Um, if anyone's curious, negative 2.25, negative 2.50. People always ask me and I'm like, what? who cares? <laughs> what? Okay, now that I can see, I'm gonna get into my makeup routine. First, I just have to put my hair back a little bit because with these braids, it tends to just like hang all over the place. Honestly, these braids are really long and I love them, but they're just in the way half the time. So every month I switch up the way that I do my foundation. Last month it was with my hands. This month it's with this brush. It's a Merit Beauty brush. I love Merit Beauty. They sent me their entire collection. And honestly, I am in love with it. It's a very natural makeup brand. Um, I have their foundation, but I use it as concealer. So the foundation I'm using today is Dior and it is the Backstage Foundation. And it's honestly really nice and it smells like perfume. Yeah, it's cool that it smells like perfume, but it's also like slightly concerning because I just don't feel like it's a necessary like thing that a foundation needs, so. If that means that it's doing something to my skin, um, I could do without the smell, you know what I mean? Cause it is a little bit weird, I won't lie. Like it actually smells like perfume. See? You smell that? It's nice though, right? Right now I have a bit of a mustache. <laughs> And I hope you guys can't see it. I'm gonna get it waxed today because I'm doing my brows today. So I already know she's gonna offer it to me because she's shady as hell. So I will be saying yes when she does. So this is that Merit foundation I was talking about. The shade I got is khaki and it's too light. So I use it as a concealer and honestly it does exactly what it needs to do. So I just put it like right in the corner of my eye here, a dot here, a dot here and a little bit more over there. I blend it out with a flat brush, 
And then I kind of buff it out after with my foundation brush just to get it all like super blended. I do this not because I have like dark circles or anything, but because I like that under eye brightness um, when I'm taking photos. So I'm getting ready to do some shoots today. Oh, I forgot to put it up here. I'm not, I don't typically do this routine when I'm just like going out because I find that you never know like what it's gonna look like in the sun. <laughs> And I also make sure to get my eyelids as well. This is a product I've been using since high school. Not this physical one, even though it looks like it because it has no lids on it. But I've been using this since the beginning days of my YouTube channel. And this is the NYX Wonder Stick and I'm using the shade Deep. I use this Real Techniques brush and I literally just, I do a little swipey swipe right there to get a nice little chiseled look. Do you see that? And then I just buff it out. Then I take the remainder of the product that's on the brush and I just kind of swipe it down here. I bring it on my temples and the top of my forehead. So the next thing that I do is I take my Anastasia Blush Kit in Radiant and I take the two, oops, I take the two deepest shades and I just kind of like follow the contour line and warm up my cheeks a little bit. I love blush. Like when I don't wear makeup, I usually just put on blush just to warm up my face. Even if I have no mascara, no eyeliner, no nothing, you will see blush on these cheeks. These cheeks. As I get ready for the next steps in my makeup routine, I curl my lashes. I didn't used to do this. And then I realized, even though I have curly lashes, it makes a really big difference. Another thing that I do is I take my Benefit Fluff Up Brow Wax and I just brush my brows in place. It just makes filling them in a lot easier. I don't even have like unruly brows or anything. They're literally the most sparse thin brows ever. But it just makes my life easier, so I do it. And then my favorite step of all is eyeliner. I've been doing the same eyeliner look since I was 15. Nothing has changed. I do the same wing every single day that I wear makeup. So this is my wing. This one's gonna be a little bit difficult to film. So. I had coffee, so the hand that's holding my mirror is shaking profusely. All these years of doing my eyeliner this way and somehow I managed to do this at least once a week. Um, and I just take it off with a Q-tip. After that, I go in with a Lancome Lash Doll, I don't know, Idione. And two things better than sex. And I just do my little lashes just like that. Super easy peasy, lemon squeezy. My next step is the one that I hate the absolute most, which is brows. I have a terrible brow brush and a terrible brow product. I used to have the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, which is amazing. And I'm using this BH Cosmetics one from 2016 because I accidentally left my ABH one at my ex-boyfriend's bestie's house. And I never got that shit back. So I am using a cheap one and I'm also using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Medium Brown, which is old and crusty. You know those people that you know that walk around with bad makeup or bad brows, and you just think like, damn, like, do they know that their brows look that bad? Do they know that their makeup looks terrible? They probably do, because I walk around with bad brows sometimes when I use the wrong shade, and they're looking a little red. And all I can think of is people probably see my brows and think that I don't know they look bad. I am very self-aware. I'm very self-aware. I know when they look bad. And they've been looking bad for a couple weeks now. I even did a makeup tutorial and I did my brows in the tutorial. And in the tutorial, they looked bad. We love a self-aware queen. Anyways, let's do some brows. This requires a lot of focus and precision. Okay, we're on to a decent start. My hand is shaking. Okay. They're not awful today. The brow gods really came through for this Vogue shoot, you know? They are not terrible. I don't hate it. Lastly, 
we do lips. And lips consist of three steps. One, an unsharpened lip liner. And I don't have a sharpener, shit. One, Stila lip liner. That is about 10 years old, maybe more. Line the lips. Oh, hopefully you can't see my mustache. Then you're gonna go in, well, I don't know if you're gonna do it, but this is what I do, with a nude lipstick. I use Morphe in the shade Honey, and I got it at Sephora. Then you're gonna let that dry. While I let that dry, I'm just gonna spray my hair with some oil because your girl got scalp psoriasis and has to keep the scalp moisturized at all times. I also like to put some oil on my braids so that they smell yummy and they look shiny, but not too shiny. We don't want the synthetic look out here because that is not the vibe. Then I do my edges, so I pin my hair back again. And I'm gonna go in with my crusty edge brush and my edge control. So I put a little bit of edge control, not too much because I don't want white flakes or anything because that is not the vibe. But just enough to like get it sorted out, you know? And now that my lipstick is dry, I go in with Merit Shades Like Gloss in the shade Maple Tint and I just Put that all on my lips and get it blended together. This makes them look super luscious and kissable. Fun fact, I kissed someone for the first time after seven months and the kiss was so bad, I thought I didn't know how to kiss anymore. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> did I forget how to kiss? And then I ended up kissing somebody like a couple weeks later and it was great. And I was like, oh, okay. Okay, I still know what I'm doing. So the guy was a bad kisser. And then I was like, why did I instantly blame myself? Crazy, huh? Anyways, that guy was a really bad kisser. Boy number one, boy number two was not. So after I do all that, my makeup look is complete. Super, super natural, soft glam. Nothing extra, nothing crazy, but it definitely gets me looking flawless. Not flawless, relax. It gets my skin looking less flawed and, you know, uh, photo flawless, I guess you could say. So I'm gonna quickly change my top and that'll be the end of the video. All right, Vogue, thanks so much for spending this morning with me after all these hundreds and thousands of people submitted that they wanted me to be a part of this Vogue beauty series. <laughs> guys, relax. I'm happy that we finally made it happen. So I do have you guys unblocked now, so if you ever wanna reach out for future collaborations, please feel free to do so. But with that being said, to everybody that was watching and enjoying this video, I hope you loved it, I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, Vogue.